Hey guys, Pedigree here, and welcome to my tutorial 1.3.1 spoiler recap. We're going to be going through all the spoilers that have been given to us and more. This update is known as the wiring update and for good reason too. A lot of these updates will change whatever you thought you knew about wiring. So, without further ado, let's get into it. The first spoiler I'm going to talk about is one that Senex told me personally and she gave me permission to tell you guys as well. It is... The penguin statue, probably the most important part of the update, I think. And I can confirm that it actually does indeed spawn penguins. So I can tell you the first thing I'm going to be doing, dancing with a lot of my friends. So that's the announcement out of the way. We're going to be going through the spoilers now. We're going to be starting with the most recent first and then going through them one by one. So, as you can see on this picture that was most recently posted, um, you can see there's a lot of wires. And when I first look at this, it boggled my mind a little bit. Um, so, this is made possible from a couple things. As you can see, there's new yellow wire and there's new adapters. With these two new mechanisms, you're able to create much more complex machinery, much more simpler. I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, but what does this mean? Senex posted a picture shortly after the one with the wires, making a bit more sense. You may be still a little confused, but after some research, I found out that the top image is actually a binary calculator. And just to confirm this, I found an online binary calculator. Just to show you guys, as you can see, the numbers on the right are essentially what I'm adding up. And the decimal value is 136, just like on the top. You can see that as well. So confirmed, a binary calculator has been made. And this was just to kind of show off what you can do in Terraria. And you know what? Computers are technically made out of binary, so I don't think it's too long until we're going to be playing Terraria in Terraria. <laughs> Who knows? There's one last thing I want to mention in this image before we move on, and as you can see the wires, some of them are actually crossing between each other, you know, the yellow wires, and they're not interfering, as, well, that's by the looks of things. The, the image isn't the best quality, but I'm pretty sure there's some sort of item that allows you to make wires cross between each other where they couldn't before. So the next thing we're going to be talking about is another new mechanic that has been added, and that is conveyor belts. As you can see from the screenshot, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you stand on a conveyor belt, it will move you along automatically. If you throw an item on the conveyor belt, it will move that along automatically. The one thing that we have to think about is, does this work on mobs as well? If that's the case, you can just kind of coat your house in conveyor belts and then blood moons won't be a problem, like eclipses won't be a problem because everything will be getting slowly pushed away from your house. Um, another thing we can think about is making farms. You can put traps on farms and then when the enemies die, the items will be on the conveyor belts and they'll come all the way down and give it to you. So it's a kind of nice way to farm as well. There's a lot of different ways you can use conveyor belts. And yeah, I can't wait for them to be added to the game. What do you guys think of conveyor belts? Do you think they'll be awesome? Do you think they'll be OP? What do you guys think? Up next, we've got these cyan pressure plates. And as you can see, they're being affected by this projectile. So these are pretty, pretty cool. And I think these are going to redesign custom maps from what we know. Um, there's going to be different sort of puzzles to open doors. For example, there's so many different types of projectiles. In this image, you can see that it's being affected by a bullet projectile. Well, there's things like flails. There's things like yo-yos that also are technically projectiles. So... In certain situations, you'll be able to use yo-yos to bend around corners and touch the, the pressure plate to open a door. So there's many different types of ways that you'll be able to open doors and make puzzles for players in custom maps. It's super interesting. One last thing about this screenshot is the mouse. You can see that there's an outline around the mouse which isn't available in the current game. You have to go in the options and do some dodgy settings to be able to get it. Um, you may have seen it in some of my videos. Um, but essentially, I'm assuming that this is going to be coming in the next update. 
Up next, we've got a gem overhaul. As you can see, there's holders on the wall now, so you can put all your gems in nice, neat little holders. Also, when you're actually holding a bunch of gems, they kind of rotate around your head, where previously it would only show one. Um, and they've, they've been given a slicker, nicer look as well. Another thing with this screenshot is that you can also see that they work with logic gates. So for example, if once he's put all the, the gems in the wall, a trap door opens, th this can be rearranged so it's just one gem or two gems. Um, but yeah, pretty awesome stuff. There's a couple other minor features in these screenshots. As you can see on the one on the right, he's wearing some sort of building helmet. Maybe that gives him some sort of extra block range reach or something like that. Just an alternative for the mining helmet. That doesn't really do a lot. Um, also, you can see at the bottom, bottom right, there's an orange pressure plate right next to the cyan pressure plate. So we know the cyan pressure plate does something fancy. So maybe the orange one does something too. There's also one more thing. You may have noticed that there's a new large gem. There's a new amber gem that wasn't in the game previously. Pretty cool. Alrighty, so I've saved the best for last. You would have never guessed what it's gonna be. It's snow no longer falls in front of tiles. You can see in this picture that snow no longer falls in front of anything. It just stays on the back wall. Hooray! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> All right, shut up, kids. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the spoiler 1.3.1 recap. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, the penguin thing is legit, I promise you. I hope Senex will confirm this at some point. Um, it is, I, I promise you. I, I bet a couple people are going to be like, Penguin, you're just making things up. I'm not crazy. I'm telling you it's real. Um, and, and I'm pretty excited for that. But yeah, thanks, guys, for watching. And I'll see you guys later, nerds. See ya.